Now let's learn how to solve an isosceles spherical triangle. So an isosceles spherical triangle is a triangle that has two equal sides. If these two sides are equal, then these two angles are equal as well. So for example, we have this problem. Solve the remaining side of the spherical triangle whose given parts are angles A and B are 80 degrees and sides A and B is equal to 89 degrees. If this is our triangle, this is 89, 89, 80, and 80. So what we're looking for is this side here, side C. So what we will do is that we will divide this triangle into two triangles. So this angle here is 90 degrees, and this is C over 2 and C over 2. So let's redraw our triangle. This is angle A, so let this be side A. And this is side B, so let this be angle B. And this is angle C and side C. So since we have here a right spherical triangle, we can now use the Napier's rule to solve this problem. And if you've seen my video regarding the Napier's rule, I've taught you how to draw the Napier circle. So that's draw a stick body, legs, arms, and a big circle. And assuming that angle C is 90 degrees, then we will put here small letter C bar for side C, then A bar, B bar, then alternating A's and B's, so A, B, A, B. Take note ha, we don't have capital C in the Napier circle because we assume that angle C is the 90 degree angle. So this is our Napier circle. But for this problem, let's do a minor division for a Napier circle. Because in this case, in our problem, we let our angle here, angle B, be the 90 degree angle. So our revised Napier circle is B bar, Y B bar. Because angle B is our 90 degree angle, so we have to put B here. Then A bar, C bar, then A, C, A, C. This is rather C over 2 since this is C over 2. So this is our revised Napier circle. So I hope you don't get confused with our Napier circle ha. Basta my point lang is that we let this as B bar because angle B is our 90 degree angle. Okay? So yeah, this is our Napier circle. So we know the value of angle A and side B. A known is side C. So we can use Sintan ad rule for this one. Sine A bar is equal to tan B bar tan C over 2. So that's sine of A bar is equal to tangent of its adjacents. So we have sine 90 minus 80 equal to tan 90 minus 81 times tangent of C over 2. So, C over 2 is equal to 84.26 degrees. Therefore, C is equal to 168.52 degrees or that's 168 degrees 31 minutes. Now, I want you to solve this last problem to check if you've really understood the discussion. Determine the value of angle B of an isosceles spherical triangle ABC whose given parts are B equal to C equal to 54 degrees 28 minutes and A is equal to 92 degrees 30 minutes. So the answer is angle B is equal to 41 degrees 55 minutes. So you can pause the video and solve it on your own. So pause the video. Okay na? Sige, so this is our solution. B and C are both 54 degrees 28 minutes. Side A is 92 degrees 30 minutes. We know all three sides and we only have to solve one angle. So we can use the law of cosines for sides in this problem. That is, cosine B is equal to cos A cos C plus sine A sine C cosine angle B. So, cos cosin sin cos. If this is side B, then this here must be angle B, then A C A C. So, we know the values for B, A, C, A, C. Unknown is angle B. That is one equation, one unknown. So, cosine B is equal to cos B minus cos A cos C all over sine A sine C. Solving for B, we get 41.75 degrees.